Hi everyone, I'm Stan Yoshinobu, and in this video, we are going to take a look at an IBL Calculus 1 course and how group work can be used to gauge students in learning calculus. This example is just one example of many possibilities and is not intended as the one and only model. Let's take a look. A class is a Calculus 1 course with 35 students. The topic of the day is antiderivatives, and it's the first class on this topic. Here's the first picture. Class is just about to start. The instructor is standing at the front right and she is asking students to form pairs and get ready to work. Class starts with task one. The instructor writes f prime of x is equal to x squared minus six x plus eight. And students are asked to work in pairs and pose questions about f of x that they can answer given f prime of x. After a few minutes, the instructor brings the class back together and asks students to chime in and share what they've come up with. The instructor acts as a scribe and records what students say on the board so that other students can see what has been said and what has been shared. In this case, students share questions such as what is the slope of f of x at x and what is the equation of f of x? One of the objectives of this task is to get students to think about the related concepts and to not focus on algorithms or computations yet. It also helps students learn how to ask questions because posing questions is an important skill for students to learn. Task 2 is a follow-up task. Students are asked to find questions about f of x that can't be answered yet. Students work with their partners on this and report back a few minutes later in a class discussion. The third task is to figure out what the equation of f of x is. This is once again a task students worked on in pairs before sharing their insights to the rest of the class. The instructor is acting as a scribe, writing down what students are offering and asking students to explain their thinking. The instructor also highlights general strategies and ways of thinking about the process that apply to other problems that students will work on. Let's take stock of what we have here. This is a format where students are working in pairs and then sharing with the whole class their thinking. One of the main purposes of this setup is to make public the big ideas. This is useful in situations like this where it's the first class on a new topic. You want students to hear the ideas and the explicit thought processes behind them. Another feature of this example is group work and sense making. The tasks require students to make sense of new ideas. They aren't copying or mimicking the instructor's work and are unpacking the idea of the antiderivative. Once the class has made it through these three tasks, the instructor asks them to find more antiderivatives. The instructor then changes gears. Instead of staying at the front, she goes and visits the groups and checks in on them. She makes a few rounds and brings the class together as needed to help the class through some challenging parts. The instructor visits all the groups, and she visits each group several times by weaving up and down the rows until she gets to all the groups. During these visits, she talks to all the students and answers many questions in small group settings, which are more casual and less intimidating to students. Many students who are reluctant to ask questions in front of the whole class are willing to ask questions to instructors in small group settings. Potentially, this means several dozen more questions are asked and answered per class. That really adds up over an entire course. At the end of class, the instructor wraps up. She highlights what they did and assigns students work to do before the next class. Let's summarize what happened and generalize things a bit. This class was centered on a big idea, the antiderivative. Students were asked to make sense of this idea in pairs and then to share their thinking with the whole class. The instructor worked more from the front initially, sending students to their pairs briefly and then bringing students back to a whole class discussion. These discussions make public the key things students need to understand the big ideas of the day.